Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing a very exciting reading for you. Well, at least I find it exciting. This is the first time since March 20th, 1981, that the full moon and the spring equinox, or if you're in the southern hemisphere, the fall equinox will be happening on the same day. And this is just so amazing. This energy hasn't been seen for such a long time and so it is going to be affecting everybody in different ways so I wanted to do a reading on how this will be affecting you how the energy will be affecting you and what you can expect from the equinox full moon combination the full moon is a beacon in the darkness the equinox is a changing of seasons and a really just a time of of change of new beginnings so I absolutely love it now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way that you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up. And you guys have helped this small little channel grow. You know, not big in the terms of YouTube, but in the terms of my mind, we're huge. So thank you guys so much. You are absolutely amazing. Whether you're new or old to this channel, I appreciate you so much. So thank you guys. And if you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So let's see Capricorn. Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what the Full Moon Spring Equinox of March 20th, 2019 has in store for you. Capricorn, Full Moon Spring Equinox, March 20th, 2019. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly. Capricorn, full moon, spring equinox. Okay, fantastic. So that's where the cards fell. So that's where spirit wants me to stop. So let's see. Changes are coming. I love it. Yeah, you're taking that leap of faith, Capricorn. There you are, shining through loud and proud. You're represented by the pentacles in the, major, in the minor arcana, coming through as the king of pentacles and the knight of pentacles, the page of wands, a fire sign, and Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Your harvest. There's something that you've been working for and towards. This is a very, very grounded reading, very passionate, very much in the here and the now, focusing on. Now, you're stuck between two worlds. You're going to know your mind. That's what this, yeah, in celebration, that's what this equinox is giving you and this full moon. It is giving you the ability to know where it is that you stand. And there's something that you want to do, Capricorn. There is some change that I just, you know, it's so funny because I had the same exact feeling, not the same exact, it's not exactly the same way, but with Sagittarius, there was a change that Sagittarians wanted. And now there's this change that you want, Capricorn. You want to move forward. You are coming into your power. You're learning about your passion. Also, mind a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius during this time. All right? Mind that. Because you're taking a leap of faith. And this is... Okay. So, oh, and when I say okay, I'm just listening to spirit. So don't mind me. This is a very grounded reading. We have for you all pentacles and wands. That for me represents, I mean, we have here the swords and we have major arcana cards, but pentacles and wands represent the earthly plane, the here and the now. So this full moon equinox combination for you is going to very much affect the way that you're moving forward on this earthly plane. It's not going to be so much of an emotional effect. So for let's say Virgos, for example, they were touched by this happening very, very emotionally. You, Capricorn, are going to be very grounded during this time. You're actually going to feel as if you're going to be very practical, not in a bad way, not in an overly, you know, we can only do practical things kind of way, but in a way that you're seeing things very, very clearly. There's a place that you want to be. There's a way your ships are coming in, but there's also, no, your ships are going out. You're, you're starting things. This would be a great time if any of you want to start a project, want to start, you know, something, go for it because this is just a very practical time for you. It is a time where your mind is working very, very well and you're seeing things and you can take that leap of faith and trust in the ener energy that's around you because you're moving slowly and steadily towards your prosperity because you've had enough. You've had enough of waiting. You feel as if you're trapped between two worlds of what you want to do and what it is that you need to do. And this is saying, act, act now, really go for it. Now, this is not saying to run away or to, you know, relinquish all your responsibilities and go join the circus or anything like that. No, this is saying to practically and pragmatically go after what it is that you desire. Slowly and steadily. There's 
going to be a secret revealed to you for a lot of you Capricorns about a fire sign an Aries a Leo a Sagittarius something here okay it's going to be revealed now this could be a child this could be well this could be your child this could be your your partner this is somebody here this could be a friend you're moving towards your prosperity and something is revealed I very much see it around this fire sign Okay, or for those of you who are sitting there and saying, I don't even know any fire signs, Dane, what are you talking about? This is you moving forward and something is going to be revealed, a secret is going to be revealed about your own passion, about what it is that you desire, about what it is that you're good at. You're looking at things differently, Capricorn. And as much as you're being very grounded, this is your time to go for it. This is your time to take that leap of faith. The energy around you is saying, yeah, you know, why the heck not? Send those ships out. You go after what it is that you want. You know, look at things differently. You are being very practical, but you're also seeing new possibilities. So listen to that inner voice and take that leap of faith. Blessings are coming. Emotions are running high, definitely. You are definitely going to second guess yourself. You're definitely going to sit there and have moments of doubt and fear, just like every day, but you're going to feel them a bit more intensely, okay? But you're, you're, you're going for it. You're almost saying, okay, I'm afraid. Well, that means I'm not thinking about it. And that means that I thought about this logically. And now I'm just going to do it. Because it's almost like beating a dead horse. You, you can think about it and think about it and think about it. And now it's time to act. The angels are moving with you. Now is everything perfect and going to be absolutely perfect during March 20th and the energy that it's bringing forward? No, you're going to feel caught between two worlds of what it is that you want to do, what it is that you need to do, the way that you're looking at things, the secret being revealed for some of you is going to be a kick in the teeth around this fire sign and even around what you're passionate about. You're going to sit there and think, well, I haven't thought about this in years and I don't know why it's coming up now. Well, it's coming up now because for so many, this is a spotlight time. This is a time, this is a beacon in the darkness. Okay, that's what the full moon is, a beacon in the darkness, a completion of a lunar cycle. But for you, especially with the equinox here, for you, it is a beacon time on where it is that you want to be now, what it is that you want to do now. Passion, creativity, prosperity, whether it be wealth or something you value as much as money, you have yourself working towards it, and then you have yourself being the king of your prosperity. It doesn't matter your gender. That doesn't concern the cards at all, at least not the way I read. This is having a kingly energy to you. Saying, yeah, I'm going for it. Because you have here, you, you go after what it is that you want. And then you have here the page of wands energy, a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. You're getting messages. This could be somebody who tells you something, a secret. This is definitely a secret being revealed to you. Something you don't want to hear, something you didn't want to hear. And that kind of triggers you to say, you know what, I'm just going for it. I can't please everyone. I can't be everything for everyone. I don't, you don't want to be everything for everyone anymore, Capricorn. You really don't. And now you're going after what it is that you desire. You're going after where it is that you want to be. Wisdom crowning you. Prosperity coming up around you. Well, prosperity with the wheat. But here with the poppies, this is remembering sorrow, remembering doubts, remembering fears. Celebrate how far you've come. You're not done yet. You're not, you know, completely where it is that you want to be. No, this is all about taking chances and looking at yourself and celebrating where you are now. Even if you know in your soul, Capricorn, that this is not what you're saying, that this is not where you want to be, this is not what you were meant for, because some of you, you're going to be sitting there and saying, okay, Dane, this sounds great. You know, I'm taking a leap forward. I'm changing things up. I'm going after what it is that I want. Beware of an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I got that. You know, my harvest is coming in. Perfect. Everything's all set up. <laughs> it's not all set up. It's getting there. Because you're breaking free of something that has been holding you back. You're breaking free and you are going from defending yourself always to saying, I deserve this. I deserve prosperity. I deserve abundance. And the harvest coming in, 
harvest time, that's no joke. That's a hard time. Back-breaking work, especially before machinery. Back-breaking work. You could lose your crop due to too much rain, too little rain, right at the end. All right, so what I'm seeing here is that a harvest is coming in. It is something you've been working towards, but you've gotten too focused on one thing. That's where the falcon is on her arm, okay? When the mask is on a falcon for falconry, they don't see, so they can't go and they hunt and get distracted and go after things and get afraid. When you take that mask off, they fly, they soar, they go after what it is that they want. That's what I'm seeing here. That mask is being taken off for you, Capricorn. And instead of just seeing straight down the straight and narrow, straight down to what it is that you need, what it is that you desire, you're kind of, you have blinders on somewhere. Has to do with money. Has to do with money. Wait what it is that you want, how it is that you're working, you know, what job can I have so I can make more money? What can I do so I can make more money? And this is saying here, take the leap of faith on what it is that you love doing. Not to make money, not to have anything come to you except personal prosperity, okay? Personal happiness within yourself. Because you're going to be surprised that once you stop focusing so much on, on the pentacles, how the pentacles start to come to you, okay? And by that, I mean wealth, something you value as much as money. You're looking at something too much. There's love here. There's somebody who loves you, who wants to help you, okay? Seeing that more here, correlating with this air sign, this Gemini, this Libra, this Aquarius. For some of you, I got that it's going to be the fire sign, the one I told you is keeping secrets. And this person can very well be keeping secrets that they want to help you to achieve your goals. They want to help you go after what it is that you want. So just be aware, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. This is a general reading, all right? So take it as such, take what pertains to you, hold that dear. And if it doesn't pertain to you, look at your rising sign, look at your moon sign, you know, because yeah, these are general. But what I'm seeing is you going after what it is that you want. The Ace of Swords, this is you knowing your mind. This is God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing you a gift of knowing your mind. Take it. Take it, take it, take it. For me, Aces are gift cards. Now, I don't have you taking it here, but I do have the crown coming through. So a majesty of self, a majesty of what it is that you want, a way that you are looking at things that is saying, okay, I'm cutting through the nonsense, I'm cutting through the bull, because you're tired of being caught between two worlds. And by being caught into between two worlds, what it is that you want to do, where it is that you're heading, you know, everybody's demands on you. That's what I'm seeing here. There's a clarity that comes that takes you from being trapped to being freed because you have here a celebration. I'm moving forward in that celebration. Bounty, understanding, beauty. You're not being held back anymore. You're not trapped. The hangman is also seeing things differently. That seeing things differently is why you're going after what it is that you want. That's why you're going after who it is that you are. Don't let your practicality hold you back, Capricorn, because it can very well do that. And don't be so worried here about finances, because what I'm seeing is this full moon, this Equinox time period for you is a spotlight and it's a spotlight on what it is that you want here and now. You're not interested in months down the line. You're not interested. Well, you are. You want things to be secure, but you want things now. You want to take that leap of faith for your ships to come in. You want to act. You want to go. Now, this can be something as simple as just getting in your car and going. Okay, going somewhere new, going somewhere exciting. But it is a moving forward, being mindful of secrets, having your harvest and working so hard towards it, not being kind of, not having tunnel vision, looking at things from a 360, a huge idea coming in, a harvest of your mind, a har that's it, okay, brilliant, that's it, it's a harvest of your mind. There's an idea that you have. There's something that you need to do because we have this movement here of you moving forward, being aware of secrets of passion. Okay, for some of you that could be love, but this is secrets. I'm mostly seeing this on what something you want to create, something you've been interested in in creating. 
you know, getting back to drawing, you know, writing artwork or a hobby that you have. It doesn't have to be something that's like drawing or painting or anything like that. But what I'm seeing is being aware of secrets that are, are keeping you in one direction and keeping you from going in this other direction that the rabbit is heading in. Take a 360 view on the situation. Don't have your blinders on. Guard your finances, okay? But don't be so worried about money because if you're worried about money, a lot of you are going to miss an opportunity for love. Air sign here, coming in. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you, it might very well be this fire sign, but I'm definitely seeing a stronger connection with this air sign. Prosperity moving you forward. Bounty guiding you, helping you embrace where it is that you want to be. You feel trapped. You feel trapped, and that's what this equinox and the full moon is giving you. This It's giving you the hammer to free yourself from looking at the world, from being trapped between two worlds. I don't see this as looking at the world differently right now as getting a different point of view. This is you saying, you know what, enough is enough. Enough is enough. I don't always want to do what everybody expects me to do. I don't always want to be handling everything. I need to take this leap of faith for me over the cascading emotions that are drowning you at times. Embracing what it is that you want, knowing the angels are moving right there with you. Changes are coming. Now this could be travel, definitely, here. But this is also new beginnings. This could be a new job opportunity. This could be embracing a hobby that gives you a lot of joy. This can be a celebration of home and family, all right? The Four of Wands to me is just that, that beautiful card that says you're on the right path. You're doing the right thing and you're heading in the right direction. The subconscious message, the Knight of Cups. You have another knight here. Okay, Capricorn, this is you. This is a water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. Emotions are going to be running high during this time. You have the water here with the fool that you're jumping over, that cascading emotions, the feeling as if, you know, things are moving too fast at times within your, your soul, within yourself, doubts, fears, being overwhelmed. You have to go for it anyway. You have your armor on. You have the cup here, the holy grail in your hands. There are doubts and there are fears. Yes. There are a thousand different people telling you what to do. Yes. Keep on moving forward and keep on moving towards your truth because this is, this time is a hammer for you to set you free. And it may shatter the whole entire block that you're in. It's kind of like thinking of Michelangelo carving the David. For some, it's going to be one good hit and the, and the, the whole statue is carved. But for many, 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 many more of you, it is going to be that the hammer is hit and it's slowly carved. And you need these emotions. You need the emotions because when David was being carved, when Michelangelo worked on stone, okay, he had it so that they were, it was constantly wet because he worked with marble. He had to work with the hardest stone possible. So that's what I'm seeing here. Your practicality, that earth sign energy, that stone is so hard sometimes that your emotions need to erode it so you can head in the direction that your soul wants. That you desire because there is a time when your emotions get too high Capricorn you kind of just shove it down and say it's okay I'm, I'm just going to keep on working hard guarding my money staying where I need to be not guarding your money in a bad way but staying really focused really busy really focused on work here this is saying follow your mind go where it is that you want to go do what it is that you want to do even if it's just for March 20th where you kind of take the bulls by the horn the bull by the horn and say yes that's it this is what I'm doing now this is where I'm going. I'm so excited. Go for it. Things are changing. You are changing. And this is a time to embrace some fun, some joy, some happiness. Because you're tired of being stuck. All right? Okay, Capricorn. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Also, thank you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. Oh, yes. My face shall be popping up somewhere here soon. I don't know where. That corner or that corner. Um, click on it. You will automatically subscribe to my channel. So that's pretty cool. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll be reading for you all really soon. Bye.